the problem of the Greek chronology versus the Hebrew chronology is one that scholars disagree about. So for me, um, I think in some ways the Greek chronology makes better sense. I prefer, and this is my preference, I prefer seeing Abraham and visiting Egypt during the very beginning of the Hyksos period, the very end of the 12th dynasty. It makes more sense for Pharaoh to want to be friends with Abraham then than let's say if one of the powerful 12th dynasty rulers was Pharaoh. I don't think they would care anything about uh, a poor man like Abraham. But to a smaller, weaker king like the 14th dynasty king, that would be a, a helpful relationship. So that answers two questions. One, the shorter sojourn of 215 years um, rather than 430 uh, is certainly a possibility. But um, I'm not committed to either Hebrew or Greek uh, chronology. By the way, uh, St. Paul, of course, uses the Greek chronology. And you can see that when he quotes from in Galatians and elsewhere, when he talks about how many years between Abraham and the Mosaic covenants, uh, he says 400 years. From the Hebrew side, it's 630 years. So Abraham is clearly, uh, sorry, Moses clearly is using the Septuagint chronology. So I would say this is something I'm still trying to decide.